Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. The new Land Rover Discovery 2020 model, the brand new uh, Discovery. It's right here with me guys and I will review it for you. Uh, I will show you the interior, exterior and I try to go in every single detail um, about this new Discovery. Uh, first of all, I have to tell you um, it has a lot of space in the interior. It's a huge, huge car. Uh, as you can see here in the video, I don't know, I'm not sure if you can make a difference, but it is indeed a huge car. It has LED light in the front, in the back, everywhere. The blinkers are also LED light. Um, and you can see in the front when the LED lights are on, the daylight is uh, closed because they are in the same space as the um, as the daylight as well and uh, what can i say uh, about this new discovery is that it has a lot of new technology on it from parking sensors um, they have also the adaptive cruise control emergency brake uh, blind spot technology um, the car have also this the newest this um, display from the land rover and the digital display, digital multimedia. Uh, also, um, we have LED lights in the back. We have cameras uh, and all that uh, stuff. We will go into detail in a moment. But first time, uh, let me show you the back, guys. Uh, you can see the back. It's it's much more taller than the front part. Um, the LED light look really good in in this three-dimensional shape i like those uh, led light that they have this shape like that um kind of long around there you can also even see those led lights from the side if you look closely here uh, led lights also on the number plate the reverse camera you can see it right here on the right side um, is the camera uh, also it has this water um there to wash it when it's dirty so you can you can even wash it from inside we have six parking sensors in the back you can see it right here um it's it's they're all down here on this black matte plastic and then um a little bit upper we have here the the, the fog lamp i think or just a light reflector not sure. I don't remember. Really don't remember. Anyway, the exhaust pipe, it's under the car. You don't have any exhaust pipe. So you cannot see the exhaust pipe in the back. They are under the car. Uh, going up a little bit, you can see the shape in the back. Also, Discovery logo right here uh, in the black glossy. Then going up here, we have the brake LED light up there uh, on the roof. Where is the spoiler? Uh, it actually look pretty nice. Also down here under the spoiler, we have the wipers, something that it's quite interesting to see that for the first time when I see in a car. The wipers, it's, down, it's up there, so it's, it will wash up at the window from up down, so it's quite interesting. I like also this shape of the spoiler up here. You can see how, how nice it is, how the air will go inside those holes and... And they will help the car have a better um, handling on the road and a better aerodynamic. Also on the roof, you can add some extra uh, storage there. Uh, here we have the, the tank on the right side um, because the, the car is a diesel. Also a huge, huge window in the back. You can see how big it is. Uh, and also very good quality. Um, around the windows there, we have some rubbers and they seal the, the, the car, the windows very well. Um, as you know, Land Rover make amazing car with great, great quality. Land Rover logo there on the side. I like the fact that they add this plastic. You see this plastic around the edges of the car. This is very practical. Uh, this plastic around the edges of the car protected the car paint in time from chips and stones and uh, stuff like that. and from scratch for example and also in the service they can change it very easy you don't have to wait for long uh, to the car to be repaired so very good 
the rims in black glossy really uh, they look really really um, beautiful as well and then we have if I'm not wrong yeah 21 inch rims here uh, on the car and also the brake disc I, are kind of small on the back I was expecting to be a little bit bigger because the car is very heavy but in the front I'm sure they are bigger uh, we will take a look in the front as well in a moment also here we have the handle keyless entrance in the car as well um, and yeah and the windows are quite big we have tinted windows in the back also here we have the mirror with the blind spot technology right there in the corner up right in the corner is the blind spot technology the mirror are quite big and um, i like the fact that they are glossy in the interior there around the, the mirror as well on the other side also you can see it we have discovery logo here also in black uh, glossy um, i think if it was other color you can see it much better but in, on this uh, model they want to make it all black also in the front the same story the same plastic we have parking sensors on this plastic so we have like six parking sensors in the front we have this rubber protection down there to protect the wheel we have led light right here kind of a fog lamp and there are led lights also you can see the sensors right here um, actually i think it has it if i'm not wrong yeah six parking sensors and there in the front it's also the front camera because the car have these 360 degrees cameras so um the car have also cameras in the mirror and also in the front uh you can see it right there in the middle uh of the the plastic the the matte plastic there is the camera it's not the sensors right there in the middle uh, because it has only six uh, parking sensors and then in the middle it is the camera also classic uh grill here for the discovery um kind of land rover kind of use this on all models uh, it's kind of a signature and also the discovery uh, writing right here on the hood it's also kind of a signature that you can see on other um, Land Rover models so uh, full LED the newest is technology from the Land Rover you can see it right here in the front as well classic design um, as you see it also on the other um, models up here we have the cameras and the sensors uh, and the cameras that can help you stay in lane for lane assist for reading the traffic speed limit traffic signs um, and all that uh, new tech now going in the trunk here at the first time i didn't see where is the button but now i find out it's a little bit in the right side so uh, i just opened the trunk and then let's see the space here in the trunk guys um, the space is quite quite big it's really interesting here you just have to press those buttons here um, to release this uh, trunk and also you have the the buttons for the air suspension uh, and also uh, the button for the hook and also you have a 12 volt port there and an led light so those button here i will show you in the moment so when you when you press this button you will release this um, kind of cargo lip how i can say like that um, so then it helps you a lot to carry to 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 load your your car without scratching the paint there here you have also this protection if you don't want to have seven seat uh, you can install that you can put the seven seater down and then you can install that and you have a normal trunk there 12 volt port is you already see the hook here in the back it's kind of a small space here in the back when you have all the seven seater uh, up but let me show you how huge is this car because it's one of the hugest car i ever see really strange here design the the, the way they do this window here in the back but the doors are very very high quality soft materials uh, we have the, the the speaker right here with a little bit of chrome around it then another speaker down here bigger 
then here we have the buttons and there is uh, an LED light that warn you when you open the door kind of a blind spot when other cars come that you not uh, you should not open the door now the handles are great I love the handles uh, they feel great quality a lot of storage space in the door uh, I like that really um, not bad I don't like this part here where where um, the windows it's ending but the entrance in the car it's huge um, a lot of space in the car I have to tell you it's one of the most spacious seven seater car um, that I ever seen but it's normal it's, it's a huge indeed a huge huge car I see also the Ford Explorer it's it's kind of the same big uh, as this one also two um, glass roof there you can see for the passengers way in the back and also in the front LED lights here on the roof also in the back we have it on the roof but on the side uh, you have handles and hooks even in the in the in the back there on the seven seater so they respect the people that stay way way in the back I like the fact that you go inside the car flat you know like electric cars the floor is flat there the entrance is flat uh, I like that really I like very much also LED lights under the front seat uh, nice ambient light inside the car uh, the seats are leather great great quality handle here you can see here the armrest with two cup holders um, great quality leather the seats are really awesome in my opinion they look super super nice uh, also, you have the ease of fix for kids there. Uh, you have the individual seat, kind of individual seat here in the middle, so you can stay uh, without problem, um, even in the middle. And you have plenty of space room. Here you have two storage uh, in back of the front seat, as you can see it uh, right here, a little bit of plastic behind it to protect the front seat. We have a handle here and a hook, uh, pretty awesome uh, vent right here on the B pillar. Um, and going forward, guys, uh, you can adjust the, the seats from here, the same as in the front. This is another great, great, uh, cool stuff. So let me do it for you. And then you will see it. So you can adjust it in the front, in the back. And then you can see now the difference that, uh, when you put it a little bit in the front, the people in the back will have more space. Also, you can fold down all down the seat and you can stay all the way in the back and it, you can stretch your legs. If there are not many people, you travel long distances. Um, you can even stay with your, with your stretch uh, legs. For example, you fold down like that and then you stay in the back, all the way in the back and then you stretch your legs over the, over the seat. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, if you want to go in the back, you, you, you can fold the seats like that and then you go in the back. It's not super easy to go in, but mm, not so hard. So there you will see that you have cup holders, um, you have some space, a window up there. This one here, I think you can open, not sure about that. Uh, but let me go inside to show you the space there, guys. I just want to go inside, so as I told you, not so easy, not so hard, um, it's kind of easy. Uh, we have the same leather, great material seats right here in the back. Uh, the headrest also, they kind of uh, fold down when you fold down the seat. Um, also, you can see here you have handle, hooks, LED light and a glass roof, uh, really beautiful. The visibility on the windows it's kind of good you have a big window there this one here i think you can open it i'm not sure about that usually i see in the car where you can open it um but let me fold the seat back and we pull it back and then let's see how much space i have on my legs so i cannot see it there maybe i go in this side so it's more realistic right now it's more realistic and you see you have plenty of space on the legs there this is way kind of way in the back and look look at how much space i have i see cars where i have this space in the back seat uh but this one this discovery have plenty of space and also here on my hand i have huge space where i can put my stuff even on my head i have a lot of space visibility is quite okay uh, 
not the best but quite good i really like it so as i told you one of the most spacious seven seater uh i was and you can also install isofix for kids here in the back so that's another extra uh for this um great great car so uh really impressive i think they they do a great job with the car um they impress me a lot so great job land rover uh with the space going out from here as i told you um, yeah not the best not the easiest but yeah all the car are the same so you can see right now how i go out from here yeah anyway not bad not bad one of the best as i told you and also very easy to to adjust those seats uh it's not so hard um everything is manually here so um yeah what can i say um I, I really like it. Now, what I would like to show you guys, I just want to um, those those buttons here. You already see this is for air suspension. I don't know if you can, if I can show you because I have to go with the camera on the side and and but yeah. Anyway, the air suspension and those buttons here, it's for hook. So you have to press it and the hook will come out from down there. So anyway, let me fold down all the seats. I want to I want to fold down all the seats, and then uh, we will see how much space we have here in the back. So all you have to do is just pull this, and then the seats they will actually go along down there. Um, let me fold down this head here. Uh, let me fold down the seats down. You have to press this button to fold down the the headrest as well. The button is on the other side. It's not so easy to use only one hand. So, so you have to press that button. Oh my God! It's all so hard with one hand uh, when I have just one hand. So you just have to press this button, and then it will go down. And then you just pull this up, and then those seats will go down. And I will be able to show you the trunk. So this is the space in the trunk. It is huge, guys. I told you it is super big space. Also, this you can install it there, as I told you, like a protection for the trunk. Um, I like it. It's it's quite quite big, uh, and you have plenty plenty of space there. So that's really impressive, and you have a flat floor there as well. So. Yeah, super practical. The car is super, super practical. Also, in the front here, guys, um, you can let me go a little bit in the back with the seats all the way back, and then let me fold it down. Also, I find out that this headrest you can fold it down, but it was too late. Also, you have electric uh, adjustable seats in the front. So you can see right here, there are all the buttons for the passengers, not only for the driver. So that's a good thing. So let me fold it down just like that. And then you have a flat floor with all the seats. And then you have a huge space there. You can carry super huge mobile parts. Um, so even those um, headrests here in the back, you can fold it down. Here, as I told you, electric adjustable seats, even in the front for the for the driver. Uh, for some reason, I have to put the contact in uh, in order to work out with those uh, seats. Let me close the light because I want to keep the battery still on. But anyway, I just find out right now that those headrest has also those button here that you can put, press it and then they will go down. So yeah kind of stupid from me but it's it's really hard so there are so many cars with so many different things so sometimes you just forget some basis basic stuff so um sorry about that anyway look at the space here in the back guys huge huge space um yeah as i told you you can carry huge items without any problem it's not that the car it's very luxurious and very premium if i can say like that but the car have also huge space you can see how much space you have here in the back a lot of space it's really impressive um, i like it very much i like the space it's one of the most spacious um 
car and also it's all flat it's all super practical you press the button and then you can see the lip it's folding up automatic and then the, the door the trunk it's closing so that's 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 super simple super easy that's something like that we see also in the bmw uh x7 i think in x5 as well uh, also let me fold back the seats and let me see how much space we have there in the back um, if you have for example just five people in the back um, I put the seats all the way in the back and then let me go inside I love the way you go inside it's so easy because it's flat and here we are guys I close the door and look at the space right now the seats are kind of in normal position right there in the front um, and then my space right here, it is huge, enormous space on my legs. Stretch a little bit the legs in the front there under the seat. And I have a very nice position of driving, huge space on my head. You can see how big it is because the car, it's also have this shape, this tall shape. The visibility in the back, it's quite good. A little bit of blind spot there. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not a big deal. Let me go here in the middle. You have heated seats in the back, uh, as you can see here. Then going down, we have this USB port that you can see it right here, two USB ports, very useful. And down there, you have you still have a space here where you can put your stuff. Super, super um, useful in my opinion. Um, I like it. I like this space right here. I can go in the middle without any problem here. So you can see that I still have plenty of knee space. I can stay with my legs together. It's like in electric cars. So amazing, amazing. I will give it a 10 maximum point for the middle seat. Love it. Look at the space. It's perfect. Practicality inside this new discovery. It is gorgeous, guys. Really, really gorgeous. Um, and I love it. So anyway um we will go also in the front and i will show you the dashboard and all that info uh you can see here the armrest a huge huge armrest right here uh, we have the newest technology in the front there uh display and the cockpit and also um kind of my favorite gear shifter uh one of my favorite it is kind of the same as the ford have also on the on their cars so let me go there and show you guys on the automatic cars i mean going out very easy it's a huge huge entrance in the car so going in the front big windows one piece is here um here we have again this soft material i'm not sure i don't think it's leather i'm not sure what kind of material it is but it's soft and it feels nice also electric adjustable windows buttons for electric windows as well and mirrors meridian sound speaker right here great great sound inside the car um, also here we have kind of a fake wood it's a plastic but it looks like wood uh, and it's nice but it's in the same color as the door also soft material right here on the door panel um lock unlock buttons there we have the saving position for electric seats i love those handles they feel good they they are nice and strong another speaker so we have three speakers on the doors in the front um yeah interesting and also we have the discovery uh, logo here at entrance and then we have a flat floor i like that so easy to go inside the car with this flat floor the pedals are normal no aluminum pedals on this model electric uh, seats right here you already see it uh, you can adjust the seats from here we have uh, leather seats it's the same as in the back you see it already um, they are very comfortable they are soft they are perfect you know you feel like you're in a sofa home when when you are on those seats so you know Land Rover make fantastic seats and very comfortable so I don't even need to tell you 
that they are perfect for long long trips and it also they have these little holes there you can see the way they look with the center console and with the dashboard it's, it's kind of a classic what you will see these days in the Land Rover cars also here you have a small space then you have the trunk button and then the brightness of the ambient light inside the car the same material here as you have it on the doors soft material we have the vents that you can uh, see uh, that they are pretty simple um, also going inside let me close the door now guys the visibility on the on the mirrors is quite good you can see there even the blind spot here we have a handle great great quality on the roof as well i like the mirror with led light integrated there here the glass support wow well well done uh, i like that also up here you have the buttons for the, the glass roof that you can open it then we have some sos button and stuff like that and then the led lights there uh, mirror it's quite nice it has nice nice edges uh, tiny edges look really good visibility on the windows pretty awesome uh, i like very much the visibility on the windows guys it's it's okay a little bit of blind spot in the back there kind of in the back on the c pillar as well uh, but but the car have 360 degrees camera so it's awesome also you have some extra armrest here that you can take it out if you want but yeah we will leave it here also for the passengers and then here we have the big armrest that you can open it uh, and you can see you have here space for the phone but you can put it out as well if you want just like that and then you have here plenty of space where you can put your stuff um, and then the usb ports um, they are right here in the front um, they are illuminated also 12 volt port is much better than stick those usb port inside there so they are quite easy to to put the cable inside there so i like more this design than than i see in the other cars where the usb is down there here the center console we have some chrome design we have glossy plastic around here electric handbrake here we have the buttons for the four wheel drive lock unlock the way you want to drive the driving modes of course here as well when you change it you can see it right there on the screen let me close the door right now and then i will show you again so uh, you can see better um, the different driving mode for example in snow on normal roads and, and stuff like that here is my favorite uh, gear shifter so when you when you start the car this will go up a little bit and will be like the climatic system buttons then you can turn it out it's super easy to go in reverse drive and stuff like that the key is right here i think you already know it here we have a different key a small one for the climatic system you can start start it out when you are not inside the car you can just start it out uh, close it and open it it's, it's super awesome uh, but it's much more easy if you have it on the phone on the application and you can do it from the internet from home with this key you can do it only from if you are not so far away from the car here you have space where you can put your phone with an usb port right there uh, or not i'm not sure what is that uh, i was thinking it's an usb or a 12 volt port but um, you cannot open it also here we have the climatic system um, and it's very simple to adjust it it looks nice it has kind of uh, screens free screens in the middle there and uh, it's super super easy look at this guys look the the secret space where you can put your stuff um, too bad that the button is directly right there and it's quite big but it's quite interesting this feature to have it on the car you can still put something in, in the back there there is the screen guys the multimedia system screen as you see on my other review with land rovers um, it's kind of similar the star stop button a lot of great quality materials on the dash here guys soft material everywhere we have the speaker it's kind of nice 
uh, design so you have a good visibility the vents up here um, feel nice also you have a button here something that I want to show you right here on the wood guys on this wood kind of wood I think it's it's plastic doesn't feel like wood you press this button and then look at this you can open up this um, this part here so you still have space here where you can put your stuff with an LED light also a 12 volt port right there and then down here you have the glow box that's quite pretty pretty big glow box so super practical as i told you before this video the car it's very very practical a lot of uh, practicality and also the quality of the car it's amazing the steering wheel the same as you know it on the land rover beautiful steering wheel this signature steering wheel to make you feel special when you are inside this car also the dash the layout it's it's awesome here the new digital um cockpit look fantastic and you can control it right here from this buttons that you have it on the steering wheel even the buttons here on the steering wheel they are very special they are different um they are kind of a touch screen something like that they they feel different they feel nice they feel premium and high quality here you have the lane assist the heated steering wheel um you have also uh heating and, and seat and um, the steering wheel as well also from here you can change different settings from these buttons uh, and you can customize this display in many ways so it's one of the best on the market this is a cockpit um, you have so many options there it's kind of like a volkswagen it's similar with what we see these days in volkswagen new digital cockpit so you can see their head-up display as well um, you can see it i'm not sure if you can you are able to see i think you can see it right now the head-up display yeah, on the video doesn't look so good but in real life it's look bigger and nicer uh, directly on the windscreen so you can I, here you can change different settings on the head-up display and um, you can have there the driving assistant the navigation you can choose what you like to see the telephone you can choose what you like to see on the head-up display from here you have the settings on it you have the display settings here so you can change uh, what you see on this digital display you can see here uh, the language you can also change it you can see the speed limit the traffic speed limit and all that information uh, the units you can change it the info panel that's that's called this uh, cockpit also the map the drive assistance and all that stuff what you would like to see on the panel um anyway going forward the trip the driving assistance here you can activate this activate different driving assist uh, parking notification and speed limit steering assist and all that stuff uh then going to the media i think i'm not going to go into detail with the media but yeah you know you can connect your bluetooth and all that stuff uh, here you have the tire information, the information about the car, what's the problem with the car. Here we have the exterior lights and stuff like that, that you can change it. Um, here in the middle, right now you can see also the navigation system. So that's pretty awesome that you are able to see the navigation right there in the middle. But also you can change it up from here if you want to see different, different things right there in the middle. So here is the trip as well. So if you want to see uh, information about the trip, the range, the, the consumption um, and stuff like that, it's really, really cool. I like very much this new um, digital display and um, you can see that you have a great visibility from the driver point of view, the steering wheel. It's awesome. It feels great. And as I told you, it makes you feel special. And you have also this discovery logo right there in the middle um let me go a little bit to the multimedia system as well to show you a few things here um as you see it on my other videos as well guys um it's kind of complex it's work fast it has nice colors nice resolution it's very responsive and you have all kind of information here for example for um for the off-road here you can change different uh, stuff on the car 
uh, so you can see different information and, and things like that. So uh, it's quite awesome, but you have free, free, free. Here you have the, the cameras, as I told you before, you have 360 degrees camera around the car, um, but they help you also on the off-road. So you can see what it's down there. So it's quite, quite awesome uh, to have these options. And also here you can see um, another information about this off-road. Then um, what I would like to tell you here, the cameras, we can see when you park the car, you can see all the cameras that you want around the car there. So it's quite, quite awesome that you are able to change all that um, view and you can view the car from all that position so it's super impressive and also you can see it here when you have a a trailer in the back um, but anyway then you have all that stuff bluetooth you have the the temperature the, the seats information you have the um here if you are interested how big is the car you can see all the information right now on the screen so you can see all that information guys right here uh, if you're interesting the, the the how big the dimension of the car you can connect to android auto apple carplay uh, also you have valet mode echo date here um, you have all the data uh, on your driving style and here is kind of the main screen where you have the media navigation as well navigation it's also pretty awesome you can have it also here and also on the display there um, it's working really really smooth doesn't have a uh, lag or something like that they have a great uh, hardware and software behind this so um, as expected um yeah it's one of the best on the market and it's you can see how fast it's loading the destination and you can see it also there on the cockpit guys um yeah really impressive um the car it's a premium car and i still keep my uh my impression about the car the car price is around 100,000 um euro I will show you the price and all the information at the end of this video if you are interested in, in all that technical details. Um, yeah, I will show you a little bit later. Here you have also some information about the display. Um, and yeah, I think I show you almost everything here inside the car, guys. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me anything. Also, if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet, just please subscribe uh and like it uh i will come with newest car on the market also from geneva uh next month uh, i will come with all the new cars that will come out and you will can see it on my channel so subscribe to my channel and you will see it there so um yeah i guess that was the review guys here are also the lights you can see it the high bin the low bin they look fantastic the led lights um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, the review, guys. I hope it was helpful. Uh, please um, don't forget to check out also my other videos. Um, now, I will tell you a few information about the car so you can see here. Discovery free, um, HCE, SD, V6, and you see there um, the engine free liter, uh, and you can see also the price and all that info. You can also pause the video. If you want to see all that information, just pause the video and read it. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, see you soon in the next one. Thank you again for watching to all my uh, subscribers and not only. And yeah, stay safe, guys, and see you soon in the next one.